Kilmarnock were without Paul Wright, who's out for a month with a knee injury, but his regular striking partner, Jerome Varai, almost made up for his absence in the opening minutes. St Johnston goalkeeper Alan Main had an outstanding afternoon. This tip over from Kevin McGarren's header, the first of several superb saves. It was the visitors, though, who took the lead after 13 minutes. Lee Jenkinson making ground down the left. His cross being met now by John O'Neill. Great save, Lekovic, but Keith O'Halloran is there to knock back the rebound. 1-0 St Johnston. Lekovic doing well with the first one. But the international nutmegged on the follow-up there from O'Halloran. At the other end, Main had to be on his toes again to keep his side ahead. This time denying Alex Burke. A few minutes later, and the same two players were involved. Once again, Main coming out on top and stopping the wee winger. At this stage, it was like Custer's last stand for Alan Main. The keeper entitled to demand better cover from his defenders. Another fine stop there from Barre. Main was eventually beaten after 39 minutes, but Kerr was out of luck from the free kick. And the least said about Dylan Kerr's follow-up effort here, the better. It was a similar story in the second half. Killy creating most of the chances, but great goalkeeping and poor finishing, preventing them from drawing level. But yeah, again, the culprit here. But Alan Main was showing everyone why he was called into the Scotland squad for the Latvia game. Dylan Kerr denied that time with the header. And in the 60th minute, Kilmarnock were awarded a penalty kick. Frenchman Varey racing into the box before being pulled down there by John McQuillan. Referee John Young in no doubt, and he's pointing to the spot. Watch now for McQuillan's foot going up and the Frenchman going down. Even from 12 yards, though, they couldn't beat the main man. Mark Riley missed the penalty in the absence of regular kick taker Paul Wright. Now with 10 minutes left, the visitors get a chance to seal it. O'Boyle's trickery setting up Roddy Grant. But the big striker couldn't find the target. Paul Sturrock's man held on, though, to take all three points. Well, I think I played quite well today, and also Kilmarnock played well today. They've put me, put me under all sorts of pressure today, but I've played well, and i was delighted with a clean sheet and obviously the three points. Personally, playing like that must keep your hopes of being in France quite high. Oh, I think it's, it's a good bit away yet. I mean, I've just started playing well for St Johnston. And if I can keep it that standard, I'm sure I've got a chance. I'm sure he has. And Charlie, St Johnson doing so well on the road, and Alan Main a, bit, a lot to do with that. But yesterday, yep. a Halloran's goal, and it was a good finish, wasn't it? It was a good finish. They, they do well away from home. Paul Sturrock was pretty shrewd. You know, it's a good, decent ball. Jenkinson, who does this well, he's not... I think he's had a few injury problems, to be fair to him. It's a great header from O'Neill and a great save. And it's, you know, it's, I think it's more or less played across the goal for a tap-in. But through uh, Lekovic's legs, and he's got the break of the ball, but uh, a great result for the Saints. So just one goal in it, but as we said there, Steve, Alan Main, or young Alan Main has been called in some quarters. <laughs> yeah. He is doing well. France is getting spoken about. Craig Brown likes him. Mm -hmm. and, and no wonder, because he's playing ever so well right now. Yeah, I think that uh, confidence obviously breeds confidence, and that's what's happening here. He's been called up to the international scene, to the international scene, and he's in thoroughly enjoying it, and it's come through in his game. And the penalty incident some, there. Yeah. Frenchman well, went down, but it was a, yeah. a good, good save. Poor Kate, though. Well, poor kick, good save. Who's going to who's going to say what it was? Fact is, he kept it out. Yeah, he's been a sparkling form all season. People might think, oh, he's at St. Johnson. Of course, he's got a lot more to do. That means it'll get more more limelight. But uh, you know, this guy's been been playing at a top level for a long time, and now he's really at the peak of his form as a goalkeeper. And again, Sturrock, a guy with not not tremendous resources up at Perth, and he's doing well no, with it. He him. hasn't. He was on the show when we first started the season, Jim, and he told us that he would like two or three players in but he's going to take his time and, and get the right players when, when he's ready.